this is Pinky, and this is basically going to be a short overview of the brand new scaling system that was just added to VRChat today. So this scaling system has been a long time requested feature and has actually had some spin-offs by the community, such as GoGo Loco and Your Fat Mom scaling system. These systems have actually been broken due to this update. So if you have GoGo Loco for the pure uh, case of wanting to scale your avatar, that will no longer work. And it is recommended to remove that from your prefab or your avatar. Now, on the second note, we are going to go through what the current feature is. So when you open up your menu by either holding B or going through the wings, you will see that you have your circular disk and there will be a quick action section. When you go inside of that, there will be the brand new avatar height section. When you want to, you want to click on this and it will bring up a little overview of your character in front of you like a mirror and you basically can choose how big or small you want to be. So if I want to be down here, I can now be down here and as you can see I'm very small, very short and I can go back and I can go and scale it back up and now as you can see I'm very tall back here so and there's also a reset height so if you have m messed around with the height settings and you're too lazy to set it back you can just hit the reset height and it will put you back down to the default height now this feature is on by default in all worlds and it is up to the individual avatar creators to go into the world settings and turn it off I personally like this as a uh, user of this game as a lot of worlds are not maintained and are not like up to date with certain creators and they won't be able to go in and toggle it on if that was the case so thankfully older worlds or undeveloped worlds or like worlds that just don't have any support anymore will work with this system which is very good and on to the uh thing about it being disabled i'm going to quickly switch over to an avatar that contains go go loco uh give me one second as i find it it will be this one right here and so i'm going to switch into this avatar and I'm going to open up my menu, of course, you won't be able to see this. And I'm going to go to the GoGo Loco section, and the scaling system no longer works on it. As you can see, nothing is changing. I'm rotating my finger. I mean, of course, you can't see, but nothing has changed. Uh, all the other features of GoGo Loco still do work, thankfully. So you can still sit down in different positions and whatnot. So GoGo Loco is still good for that. But in the case of wanting to scale your avatar, you should no longer use GoGo Loco for that. Anyways, it's just been basically a quick update on this. Um, if you are interested in the Unity side of things, I'm going to continue this video on with a little Unity tutorial with the new parameters and such they added. So if you want to stick around and watch that, go ahead. But anyways, if this is all you've been interested in, I, um, I'm Pinky. I hope you have a good day. And uh, yeah, this has just been a quick little update. Thank you for watching. Hello, this is Pinky. And uh, this is going to be basically just going over the new parameters that are added. So. As you can see from the avatar parameters, the uh, creators.vrchat docs, there has been five new parameters that have been added. So these are parameters that are controlled by the game, meaning these are automatically assigned a value when you play. So the first one is scale modified, and this will tell, uh, this will return true if the avatar is scaled using the new avatar scaling system, and it will return false if it's at its default size. This will be a bool, and this will be just a playable sync, meaning that when you're in game, it just is a passive thing that will happen. Then we have another one that is a float. This will be scale factor. And this will basically be the relation of your default height compared to the other uh, size. So if you scale up, uh, if your default size is say one meter and you scale up to two, then you will get a, a, a power of two. So our next one will be a scale factor inverse. So this is basically just the inverse of this. So it's, um, the one divided by x so this would be giving you decimal points so if you want to basically do the same thing but you want a lesser number for some reason then you would use inverse i height as meters the i height is as in meters this will basically just return your avatars uh seeing height within uh meters and it's going to be a float and then the last one is i height as a percentage so this will just return a float yet again but this time as a percentage so this would be uh 35.5%. Uh, Anyways, uh, with this out of the way, we are actually going to start and use one of these for our avatar here. So, as you can see, we have a protogen here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cube. So, we're going to do a 3D object. It's going to be a cube. I'm going to quickly reset its bounds so that it's right here. Move it up. And I'm going to scale this down. So, for this tutorial, I'm just going to make it very simple. 
and what we're going to do is we're going to make the cube rotate each way depending on how the avatar was scaled. So to get started, we're going to create an animation clip. I'm going to quickly move this cube to our avatar. I'm going to click on our avatar here, and then I'm going to create a new animation clip. So for this case, Unity Projects, Unity Assets, I'm just going to create it in here, and this will be called Cube Spin CC. And we are going to start with the animation, and we are going to use the Rotate tool. We're going to rotate it just a little bit, and then we're going to go all the way to a one minute mark, and we're going to rotate it a full thing like that. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new one. Uh, cube spin C and then we're going to do the exact same thing we're just going to record it moving like that and then go back to one minute and do a full spin like so so and then we're going to create one more animation and we're just going to do a uh, new for neutral I spelled it wrong but that's fine so what we're going to do is we can just grab a rotation here put these to one if we want and then we can put them back to zero here and this will just give us a neutral state so we're gonna set up the animation for this next go to animator we're going to create a new layer we're gonna call this spin we're going to create a new blend tree and then we're going to edit the blend tree and now what we're gonna do is we're going to hit three motion fields here and then what we're going to do is we're going to put say neutral in the middle here so neutral and then C C here and we're gonna do cube spin C here so these have all been given a value and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a parameter from our list here and we're gonna put it here so in this we're going to probably use scale factor just uh, if for this case, or we could also do eye height as a percentage. Uh, I might actually just use this one personally uh, since it's a float and playable. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in. I'm going to create a float. I'm going to name it eye height as a percent. I'm going to go here on my blend tree, and I'm going to select eye height as a percent and put it in there. And with these three animations done and this done, we should be basically good to go since this doesn't need to be synced since it will be a playable parameter within the game so you don't need to add this to your avatar and so what we're going to just do is remove the blocks collider and i'm going to go ahead and upload this so i'll skip the process of uploading it and i will show you it in game after this is done now as you can see in game you can see the little box that we just added to my side and the rotation way that it spins actually changes with the avatar height so if i go all the way down to the smallest you can see that it rotates uh, this way. And if I go all the way to the max height, it rotates that way. And if I keep it to the middle, it kind of jitters in place and doesn't really move at all, as you can see. And that's our middle state. And same goes for if we go here, it kind of does it halfway. And if we go here, it halfway is the other way. So as you can see, there's a lot more practical uses. This is just basically an explanation on how it works and how to add it. Uh, it's pretty simple. You can do things where if you're at max height, it toggles clothing on. You can do a thing where if you're at min height, it toggles stuff on. But either way, that's basically how you do it. Thank you for watching. If you had a good day, please have one. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like and subscribe. Have a good rest of your day. A shout out to my Patreons. Zachary Taylor, Blue Nino one Logs123, Suzuki, Tef, Sir Fappingson, Hamood, Newt Griffin, and Maple the Proto. Thank you very much for continuing the subscription to my Patreon. What you do uh, truly supports the videos that come out, and I would like to thank you. Uh, have a good rest of your day, and if you would like a little goober like in these videos, that would be under the $25 tier.